John Ball Zoo has been open for less than a week, but it's just in time for families about to start spring break. And for kids who are animal enthusiasts, the zoo's educational programs provide an opportunity for them to learn even more about their favorite topics. Nick Milbrandt is John Ball Zoo's education coordinator, coordinator, and he joins us now to talk about some of those programs. Nick, thanks for joining us. Uh, you're welcome. Thanks for having me. Sure. So how many spring and summer programs does the zoo have planned for this year? Um, we have quite a bit. I don't have the number off the top of my head, but um, we have our sprouts programs, which are for ages three, and then we have programs all the way up to fifth grade. Nick, I've got a fourth grader who came out to one of the school-based programs this year and hasn't stopped talking about it yet. These are very, very uh, popular programs, particularly among parents, too, and the slots go pretty quickly. So the zoo has adjusted its application process a little bit this year. What do parents need to know if they'd like their child to join in on the fun? Yeah, so um, honestly, most of our camps are full right now. It's the three- and four-year-old program that are available currently so they should go to the website um, to find the camp registration and go through those steps um, through the website uh, for those of you that can't make it into the camp programs we have lots of fun things happening throughout the day and some fun programs additional programs like our bear encounter where you get to help hide their food in their habitat and then watch them forage for it first thing in the morning um, and we have some guided tours that you can also take part in can you give us an example of some of the different types of camps you have? Yeah, we um, so the topics vary based on the age group. So, um, but then we have the like fantastic felines where we are going to focus on the many different cat species from our tigers, lions, um, snow leopards, um, and then we have like animal detectives where you're learning out more, learning more about. Um, different adaptations and how you can observe animals and deduce different things about what they do, what they eat, what their needs are. Um, and there's a, well, yeah, there's just a wide variety of different camps that are available. And the zoo's programming continues well past the spring and summer. So what else do you guys have in store for the rest of the year? Yeah. Um, so some of those programs are year round when winter comes back, even though it doesn't seem like it's left yet. We have our winter in the woods program. Um, and um, we have Red Panda Encounters, guided tours, Twilight Tours, which is a, a late night tour through the zoo um, that highlights the animals that are more active at night when the zoo typically isn't open. All right, Nick, thank you very much. You do a great job out there. And I know that you'll have uh, a lot of kids enjoying that this summer. And oh, yeah. right on, like you say, through the next school year. I want to do that bear encounter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I love> <laughs>